But this is going to continue to happen until people start waking up. Stop denying that it is happening. There are people to this day who laugh it off. Ha ha ha. What is woke? That there is woke. <laughs> Judge invited teen robber to perform Welcome to Country at own sentencing. <laughs> oh my God. Now quickly, for those of you who don't know what a welcome to country is, it's a ritual done by Indigenous communities invented in the 1970s by an Indigenous television actor because he wanted to have something on par with the Maori haka. And only in the past couple of years have the awfuls of Australia decided to run with it in order to virtue signal to every single other awful out there about how progressive they are awfuls, affluent, white, female Labor supporters. An Indigenous teen being sentenced for robbing two elderly women and sexually touching one was invited to give a welcome to country in a regional New South Wales courtroom before he was told his sentence. The teen was being sentenced for multiple break and enters, two of which involved a 92-year-old woman and an 88-year-old woman at Atari District Court. He also admitted to sexually touching the younger of the two women during the frightening ordeal. Judge Penelope Wass was presiding over the sentence proceedings after the team pleaded guilty to the offences averting a trial. During the sentence proceedings, Judge Wass invited the team to give a welcome to country before she reportedly said he was welcome to do so again in any court she presided over. That there is the judge saying, I fully expect you to be a re-offender. A spokeswoman for the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, which, pros uh, which prosecuted the teen's case, issued a brief statement after the incident came to light. The ODPP is currently considering the judgment, the spokeswoman said. The teen was sentenced to a two-year control order with a non-parole period of 12 months to conclude on September 24th, which allowed Josh Wass to direct the boy to be immediately released on parole. Ladies and gentlemen, this is progressivism manifest. This is what you get with the progressive stack. This is the woke mind virus. It has infected every single aspect of our life. How could you possibly think it was a good idea to invite a child who has done such a heinous crime like, hang on, sexually touch an elderly woman to do a welcome to country because your DEI progressive training that has mangled your brain says that that is more important on the progressive stack. But this is going to continue to happen until people start waking up. Stop denying that it is happening. There are people to this day who laugh it off. Ha ha ha. What is woke? That there is woke. That there, you see it. A judge has been infected by this woke mind virus that her priority is virtue signaling to who? rather than handing down a harsh punishment to a teen who has committed multiple offences. She does not care about the two elderly women that have just gone through something that is so horrific. No, 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 no. She then will go and tell all of her friends, you know, I, 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 I've done multiple welcome to countries in my courtroom, don't you know? unbelievable all right mate thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video so follow me up there do all the things down there are we done yeah we're done